Hey traders, Raggy here. And in this update, we're going to talk about some day trades from just this morning's session in the Dow and, and how it syncs up with a conversation in the most recent update over at the countdown trader trading alternatives to Dow futures. So whether or not you are interested in the YM or maybe you're much more interested in the DIA, uh, whichever path into this trade you're interested in, We'll, we'll talk about the setup from this morning and, and how it can be uh, taken a, a number of ways. Okay, so first of all, this is a really important part of my futures and the ETF options alternative trading when I'm day trading. I'm still going to be watching the Dow futures. So even though I might execute the idea in the micro, maybe I might execute the idea in DIA futures, um, I'm going to watch the YM. I don't use micros as often. I'll use minis, but I love that micros make uh, trading, especially the initial margin requirement for overnight trades, uh, much more affordable. So while I won't day trade micros a lot, I think micros are awesome for the overnight swing trade. So usually it's going to be the ETF alternative or the mini contract of the futures. I am bullish the Dow, and that assessment comes primarily, even before the bell, off structure on the daily time frame. Then I'll take it on over to keeping with a bullish bias, focusing on one-way trades, directional trades. So I'm not interested in long and shorts in the same session. I want to know that there's one direction that is more likely higher probability the path of least resistance because of the structure on the daily, it's the long side. So when earlier, basically right on the bell, we started getting Darvis and V-score signals for support, because that's really what this is. You know, support and buys in many ways are the same conversation. So when I have directional bias and we sink down into support, and if I feel from a volume volatility and price pattern standpoint, there is a chance to hold, I'll take a look at a buy. Now, this was occurring so soon after the open, right, this move lower. And so what I'll think about doing is two things. First of all, it's the symbol. This is the 1st of July. It's the first trading day after the end of the quarter. And there is a tendency. Now, this is a little bit of a lingo thing, but think about it this way because it makes perfect sense. There's window dressing that happens at the end of the quarter. And it there four is very likely that relative outperforming stocks, sectors, and indices, mostly tech, for the quarter that just ended, we could see the window undressing. And it oftentimes is going to plague those very markets that look so strong at the end of the previous quarter. So for me, July 1, this end of that quarter is really avoiding the NASDAQ and focusing mostly on the S&P and the Dow. And in this case, again, both are viable price pattern, volume confirmation, and it's so early in the session, I know that I still might be dealing with volatility as the clearing range continues, so I'll focus on the DIA calls. That's exactly what we did. Now, I mentioned that I don't want to trade the NASDAQ, but that did open the door in the S&P, and I did something similar. S&P, we played uh, what's known as the breach retreat with the SPY. So if you've never thought about looking at day trading the options on the ETF alternatives and using the futures contract to guide your decision about, for example, the DIA, check out the uh, latest update over at CountdownTrader.com and uh, take a look at that chart of the DIA this morning. And uh, that signal was coming in uh, at the uh, 9.35 candle, and that's really what we took advantage of uh, right back up to the other end of the range in terms of scaling out of the position. So think about that. Think about the shorter term time frames As we go through summer, I think a lot of traders are going to find that the chop that we might see uh, on and off through summer could be uh, better handled, less stress by shortening the time frame and the time horizon. I'll see you in the next update. Hey traders, Raggy from Simpler Trading. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to leave a like and a comment below. And remember, 
Subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll get notified of the next update. And when you're ready to join me for live trading, be sure to head on over to simplertrading.com. I'll see you in the next update.